Hello, everybody. This is a calm minority with a special guest. Yes, Rio. And now it is time to read. Yukari is a pregnant. And Why? somebody is the father. Well, actually, the title is Pregnancy of Fanfic by Troy Heading. Troy Heading Y. Yukari Takuma sighed as she slowly walked into the drugstore. It was near late 10 o'clock at night, and the lazy cashier was reading a magazine absently. And I forgot to turn on the music. So let's not turn on the music. Whoa! <sighs> I forgot where I was. Looking obviously at her brunette hair. Hair girl in Gekko Khan high uniform. Her pink sweater tied around her waist. Dance as she quickly turned and walked down the aisle. Her ISO eyes met, darted around, looking at each other, looking at the correct item she needed. A single fear. Blah, blah. I can't read in stereotypical Asian voice. I have to talk normally. A slight fear welled up in Yukari's stomach as she walked, slowly made her way around the store. Yukari talked about had missed her period because we needed to know that. At first, Yukari thought it was just late. But as February that. came, then it turned to March. She knew something was up, and Yukari was scared. Normally, in a situation like this, she would ask for Minato, for Minato, for advice. But just a week before, he fell sleeping, never to wake up. He fell asleep, waking, never waking up again. Okay, so he died. This is the end. This is after the end of Persona. I got it. Spoils the end. Yeah, spoilers. Sorry. She wanted to cry, but she had to be strong, even though she was torn. Half of her was scared, scared that she was pregnant and she would never, and she would be forced to raise a baby by herself. Why? I'm, I'm sure wow, Yukari has has more options of a father. <laughs> Although she knew she could give it away, why? But there was still nine months of being pregnant and by herself. There was abortion, but deep down inside she knew she wouldn't be able to kill it. It would be part of Minato, something that she treasured more than anything else. There was the other heads of her, of her stewed. What? Oh, I just read that. No, I didn't. It would be his and her child. The thought of her, thought of that brought a smile to her face. It would be something that Minato left behind that no one else in the world could have. Not even I guess because she is a robot. Something that was, something, something that was birthed from the love between Minato, Arisato, and Yukari Tagaba. As the near the object she desired, she felt herself leaning more to the side, wishing that she was pregnant. Ew. Congrats. Teenage pregnancy. I think she's never mind. She grabbed the item and walked into the fast pace to the cashier. The cashier put down his magazine and barely glanced at the item as he scanned it. He put it in a plastic bag and asked her for 1,114 yen. Yukari handed him a 2,000 yen bill. The cashier gave her change and thanked for her patronage before going back to his magazine. <sighs> Yukari hurried out the store and made her way to the station. She said, sat quietly and alone in the train made it run around the city. As Yukari exited the station, she quickly made her way back to the dorm and hurried toward the bathroom where she locked in the stall. She took the object out and as she read the instructions, she found her thoughts drifting back to her that fateful night. Oh my god. This is stupid. It was a cold night in Jan- It was a cold January night. The 13th- The 13th- 30th- Okay, 30th. To be exact, Yukari was scared. In her pink pajamas, she crept out from the third floor to the second floor. The last room on the right was her destination. She couldn't help it. Nyx was just around the corner. So if y'all didn't play Persona 3, this whole fan fiction is full of spoilers. Spoilers. Spoilers everywhere. She needs Minato more than anything else right now. She stared at the doorway, slowly raising her hand to knock it on softly. She heard a bit of shuffling. Then, the door slowly opened to show Minato's tired face. It turned into a smile as soon as she noticed who was knocking at his door. Yukari? He asked in a worried look, crossing his face. Can I come in? Oh my gosh, this music! <laughs> this is the door- this is the dorm room music. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Perfect. She walked in and closed the door. She was she was kind of nervous as she examined every object in the room. Is something wrong? X X stepping closer to Yukari. He nearly knocked her she nearly knocked him over as she ran into him, holding him close to her. 
You're the only one I can talk to, she whispered softly. I'm scared, Minato. Her whispers as Minato. Minato's arms wrapped around her. Don't worry, we'll win. Minato said softly, running a hand through her hair. I'm scared that I'll lose you forever, Minato. You you don't know that... Never mind. But she pushing herself back enough to look into his eyes. Nothing bad is going to happen, Yukari. He said, staring into her eyes. Promise? She asked in her voice, fragile. Her eyes desperate. A small hand touched her face softly. Promise. And Minato answered with a confident tone. She believed him as her lips turned into a smile. She kissed him passionately, her tongue forcing his way into her mouth. She went on blah, 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 broke into a kiss. Can I space for the night? Yukari asked in a voice of desperate. <laughs> in a voice of desperate. Of course. Good. You know you won't regret it. Yukari said with a smirk as she moved in for a kiss. I love you so very much. She said softly. I'm reading this like a robot now. Before she kissed him again. Don't tell me this is another... <laughs> no, I'm not reading the sex part. I said no sex fan fiction. I'm not reading the sex part. I love you, Rikari. I love you, okay? He said again, and her face turned red. I know you, Minato. I know. She said, and he got rid of the rest. Blah, blah, blah. Pushing her down in sweatpants. Blah, blah. He moved to the side with a gesture. How much? Stop staring at me, Rikari said. She sifted uneasily. I can't help it. You're beautiful. You're just saying that because I'm naked. Of course. Yes. Yukari mumbled, and I'm not handsome. Y Minato asked Yukari, and she was in shock of his question. Y you're perfect to me. Yukari answered softly. You're just saying that because I'm naked. Y Minato <laughs> said, repeating the words she, she said a moment again. Hey. She, she said, and Minato was trying to hold in a chuckle. God, I effing love you, Minato. She muttered under her breath. She smiled. She smiled. Ah, huh, blah, blah. Sex, 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 blah, 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 skipping, blah, 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 blah. I don't care, Minato. I want your child. Yukari said as Minato's eyes. I love you so effing much, Minato. Never ever leave me. Star, 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 star. Okay. Wait, wait. They didn't use a condom. I don't know. I'm not. I didn't read the sex part like I said. Anyway, Yukari checking the watch around her wrist. She sighed in and took a couple deep breaths to calm herself down. The watch told her there were seven limits passed since she did the test. It was more than enough time for fucking music. The toilet was no longer cold. She reached behind her back into the toilet and grabbed the object. She took a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, anyway. Closed her eyes and moved forward to the object in front of her. She opened her eyes and dropped in shock. She shook her head. She's no. right. Oh, God. She bent it over there, arms clenching her stomach. A tears flooded to her face. She continued to shake her head. No, God, why? No, no. She pleaded as she covered her face with her hands, crying. No, she shouted, punching the wall, stall over and over again. No, 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 no. She screamed over again until she collapsed into a sobbing mess. Yukari talked about couldn't deny it, protest it, or plead all she might to God. It wouldn't change the fact that Yukari talked about wasn't pregnant. You the are end. Not the father. The <laughs> end. <laughs> yes.